Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to get great slow motion results from our lower end DSLRs, or in this case, a DJI Phantom 3 Professional. So in my aerial stuff, I like to um, shoot at 30 frames a second and slow it down a little bit to smoothen things out. Um, I like generally like the results I get from that. But the problem I've been running into is that um, I always seem to get stuttery footage. Um, seems like every second it kind of stutters. Uh, what, what I was doing in the past was um, I would do something like uh, select my clips, um, go to speed duration. Okay, 24 divided by 30 is 0.8 or 80%. Great, so put the speed at 80% and then export it as uh, 2398 frames per second, uh, but it was stuttery. Um, and so finally, I have figured out the solution. And um, basically what we're gonna do is um, not address this in the sequence, but address it uh, in the project bin before we even get to editing. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to manually have Premiere um, retime the footage for us by changing the time base of the shot. With these lower end cameras, what's happening is the time base is the same as the frame rate. So if you shoot at 2997, your time base is 2997, meaning it will naturally play back in real time. On higher end cinema cameras, you can choose a different time base. You can hold your time base at 24 frames and shoot all the way up to 300 frames a second and then you drop it in your timeline and it's already gorgeous, buttery, slow motion. So with these uh, cheaper cameras, we have to uh, find a workaround. And so this is how you, uh, we can solve that problem. Um, we have our clip selected and uh, 2997 frames per second. We're in the project here. We go up to clip, modify, interpret footage. Um, so naturally it's at this use frame rate from file 2997. That is the time base that it's getting from the shot. And we're going to say, assume this frame rate. And I'm going to type in 23.98 or 97. 976, whatever you want. Um, and you can see it changed the duration of the shot. So before it was 4 minutes, 8 seconds, 21 frames. Now it's 5 minutes, 11 seconds, 6 frames. So great. We're already seeing that 20% uh, slowdown. Um, so we hit that. Boom. Um, our frame rate changes. And it retimed my shot here in the sequence. Um, now, unfortunately, I can't prove this for you guys because I have a After Effects render going on in the background and this screen capture, and I'm on a six-year-old Mac Pro. So um, even at, at eighth debayer, it's going to be jumpy. But you can hop over to my Vimeo page, uh, Pathfinder Films, and I uploaded this shot um, the other day so you can see for yourself that it's nice and smooth. So anyway, I hope this um, helps some of you guys out there. Um, that have been um, ripping your face off like I have over this uh, stupid stuttery footage. So, yep, hope this helps. Thanks.